Hey, hello. Happy Christmas holidays and all that shite. Um, hope you've had a great time. I had an awesome time. Um, I've been really, really busy um, with work and um, just seeing family and um, that is a new dartboard which I got for Christmas and I have been playing that relentlessly and as you'll notice the Freddy pictures are down that one's still up but that one will be coming down um, and yeah so that's that is where that is now so the dartboard is going to be there um, got it sort of set up in my room where I'm going to be playing um, I'm getting pretty good at it so you know I'm just deciding I want to keep going with it so I've been playing since I was about 11 um, so yeah, I just want to keep it going, um, and hopefully be a dark player, so um, that'd be kind of cool. But um, yeah, so that's been taking up quite a lot of my time. Um, and yeah, I, I just wanted to uh, do a little um, pickups, well, it's not really a pickups, it's like a Christmas package video. Um, with everything that I got for Christmas. Um, I got lots of things like clothes, and like aftershave, and <laughs> aftershave, a shaver, actually. Yeah, I know, I should, I should shave. But um, yeah, I got all that, and um, I'm not going to show all that. But um, I'll show everything else that's uh, pretty cool and entertainment related um, for you to see. So yeah, so um, I got a few um, gifts off of my well, my family and um, everything like that. So I'm just going to show you all that. And one of the first things I opened was a Monopoly board. Now, I do uh, Monopoly is like a, a side collection where me and my girlfriend we we uh, we collect them, we collect them, um, and we've got quite a few Monopoly boards. And um, this one I hadn't seen before. It's still sealed, we haven't opened it and I haven't had a chance to play it or nothing like that yet. But it is the uh, Monopoly Marvel Comics um, Limited um, Collector's Edition, which is pretty decent. Um, like I say, never seen that before, so I think it's, I think that's really, really cool. Um, I like my comics and I like Marvel and all that, so uh, yeah, so I thought that was pretty sweet. I wanted to get the Nintendo one at some point, but I wanted to get a sealed one, so... Um, I like getting these brand new if I can, so that's nice. So it's nice to get a Monopoly for Christmas. Last year, um, <clears throat> I gave my girlfriend the, the Hobbit one, the Hobbit version of this, um, and she was over the moon with that. So the, it, it was my turn this year to get one, so I got this one. So that's absolutely awesome. So I was really happy to get that that one, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, I got a ton of games, DVDs, um, a book as well, which I was happy with. My girlfriend got me. Um, it is Alex Ferguson, my autobiography. Which um, I'm really um, looking forward to getting stuck into this. It's, it's really controversial, apparently, so I've been hearing. Um, and it's quite a big book. I mean, Alex Ferguson, um, he's a big game. Um, he's a big part of my life, really, because um, he was the manager of Aberdeen Football Club before he went to Manchester United for so many years. Um, and he had a very successful spell at both clubs. So um took them to European trophies, both of them. So that's cool. Um, so it's great to know that um, this guy um, led my local football team to um, European Cup Winners' Cup and European Super Cup back in 1983. So, um, and he's obviously done much better with Manchester United. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading that. So that's really sweet. So Christmas off to a great start already. So I was having a great time um, just sitting there opening presents. My niece going absolutely fucking nuts um, with all the toys that we got her and... Um, Oh, she was so loud Christmas Day, and so do yours and that, and I had a bit of a cold Christmas Day as well, so that didn't help, so I'd keep running to the fucking bathroom and blow my nose and come back, so I was missing people opening, the pre opening up the presents, which I really enjoy watching people opening presents, that's, that's, that's just what I like to do, but um, yeah, I also got a, a, couple, of, um, a couple of games um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the, the Wii U ones first, I'll actually show you the one that I got my girlfriend, um, because she's been going nuts about it for, for ages. Every time we go into game, she just keeps mentioning it and she keeps talking about it and it's driving me fucking nuts. So I just thought I'm going to get it, get out of the way so I don't have to talk about it again. Um, so I got a brand new uh, Monster Hunter 3 uh, Ultimate. So um, yeah, she's really looking forward to playing that. Um, really excited when she opened up that on Christmas Day. Um, so that is sweet. So yeah, so that's what I got her. Um, and um, my sister got me uh, a Wii U game. Now, um, I had hinted that I wanted it for a while um, because it, well, it's, it's been out a little while now. Not all that long, but it has been out a wee while now. And um, because I'm a super, super massive fan of this franchise, I had to get it. Um, and that is Super Mario 3D World. So, absolutely friggin' awesome. Um, it's all in there. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, that's cool. So as soon as I get wrestle the, the girlfriend off the Wii U, I am going to be getting stuck into this one. Because I've completed um, the Super Mario Brothers U already. 
and uh, I'm wanting to play this. I've still actually yet to play Luigi U. It's really bad, um, but I just cannot get on the Wii U because the girlfriend keeps fucking hogging it. So, yeah. So that's two games I'm going to be playing on the Wii U as soon as I get it. So that's awesome. So I'm hopefully hopefully get that set up in my room and that'll be pretty cool. Um, yeah. So moving on to the PlayStation Three games that I got. A while ago, I bought um, Castlevania uh, Lord of Shadows from um, Thainston for the Xbox 360. And as soon as I took it home, um, my girlfriend looked at me and went, what the fuck? Why did you buy that? Um, and I, I knew then, instantly, that they got me that for Christmas. And I was like, oh, fuck. So I, I said to them, it says, it's all right, it's cool. I'll sell it on. I'll just get rid of it. And, you know, you can give me the, you can give me the one that you're going to give me. So... But this one's actually cooler. I never thought they got me this. Um, I thought they were just going to get me the regular one. But it turns out they've got me the... It's like a limited edition collection. It's a Castlevania Lord of Shadows collection. It's still sealed. It's got... Um, includes Reverie and Resurrection DLC. Which is on there. Um, and it's got Castlevania Lords of Shadows 2 demo. And Castlevania Lord of Shadows Mirror of Fate HD. So all that's on there, so that's brilliant. So I never knew I was getting this one. In fact, to be honest with you, I never knew that when I was actually out. So um, that that must be a fairly new purchase because I hadn't seen it, I hadn't heard about it. It's probably not, but I think that's brilliant. So to have all that in there is absolutely fantastic. So when I opened that, I got a shock. I mean, I seen Castlevania when I opened it and I thought, yep, yeah, okay, so I knew they were getting me that. But I didn't know it was going to be that one. So I thought that was sweet as fuck. So I was really pleased with that. Still sealed, but I will get that open and uh, get that playing soon. The obligatory um, PS3 game that I get now, um, it seems to be every Christmas I always get this. It's FIFA 14. Um, it's I've heard it, it's exactly the same as like FIFA 12, FIFA 13, so um, I'm not expecting big things from that. But it's just nice to get a league, a league going with a team and just seeing what you can do basically so um i like having a go in the fifas every now and again so i'll be looking forward to playing that neglected fifa 13 <clears throat> because i was really disappointed with it so um <clears throat> and i know this is pretty much exactly the same so i'm just going to get stuck into this one and just uh, see what it's going to be like so it's fifa 14 so that's cool and i got another ps3 game this thing uh, it is assassin's creed 4 black flag it's a buccaneer edition it's absolutely fucking huge and it's heavy as fuck it's got loads of stuff in it. I'll just show you the back. I may even do an unboxing. If you guys want to see an unboxing of this, let me know and I'll do one. But um, it's got all that in there. So you see it's got like a, an art book, a limited edition, like a soundtrack CD. Massive, massive statue. Um, the game. Just absolutely everything's in this treasure chest of beautifulness. And then, yeah, that's really cool. So I like getting these special editions when I can. This is probably the biggest box that I have. Um... So I, I'm absolutely loving this. So as soon as I opened this, because it was a massive present that uh, was sitting on the floor, um, and I looked at it and I thought, well, that can't be a PS4. Um, it can't be an Xbox One, so um, what, what could it be? And I opened it up and I was just over the moon with this. So didn't want to get a PS4 and an Xbox One. I did not want to get one for Christmas. I'm really glad I didn't get one. Um, I hinted at the fact that I wanted to wait a while um, just to see what kind of games are going to be coming out in the systems. I know Xbox One has got more impressive games than PS4 at the moment, but um, I don't I don't really generally use a PS3 all that much at the minute, so I don't see the point in getting another system if I'm not really going to use it, so I'm going to wait a while, probably a year, year and a half, maybe two years before I pick one up, but yeah, so I'm really pleased with this, so I've got all the Assassin's Creed's now, so I really need to get stuck in the franchise, I played a bit of the first one and it's really good, so um, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in and hopefully eventually getting onto this one and seeing what it's going to be like. So yeah, so that's cool. So that's all the games I got for Christmas. Um, you know, I did actually think I was going to get a little bit more than that, but I was more than happy with that. Um, you know, and then I got quite a few DVDs, so I'm going to show you them now. Um, I'll leave the box sets to last, but um, I got Blesser. Now this was off my mum. I've already got this, so if anybody wants the one that I've got, I'm going to keep this one, but if anybody wants the one I've got, let me know. But it's Marvel Avengers Assemble. Um, she didn't know I already had it, so um, I didn't tell her when I opened it. I just acted like, oh, awesome. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. You know, you, you know, I don't want to let on. But uh, if anybody wants the one I've got, because I'm going to keep this one, let me know. And then, um, yeah, just cover postage and you can have it. So that's cool. Um, another film that I really want to see is a horror film. And I've heard uh, quite good things about it, but it's probably crap. Um, and that is The Conjuring. Um, I have heard really good things about this as well uh, as some pretty poor reviews, but um, 
it's a horror film and I don't really expect much from horror films anymore because they tend not to get me at all. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what that's going to be like. Um, Big Bang Theory, Christmas episodes. Love the Big Bang Theory. Um, if you don't like Big Bang Theory, there's something seriously fucking wrong with you. It's such a funny show. Really, really insightful and I really enjoy it. So that's cool. Um, the Wolverine. I do like X-Men and I liked uh, Wolverine. So I'm kind of keen on seeing what this is going to be like. But... Um, I have to say the reviews haven't been all that great for it, so um, it's probably just another typical X-Men-ish kind of spin-off, but we'll see what it's going to be like. You never know, it might be good. I might enjoy it anyway. Now, I enjoyed the first film in this this uh, series, um, and I never knew this one um, was actually out on DVD yet, to be honest. They're kind of sort of falling behind on my films and that. But um, it is Kick-Ass 2. Um, yeah, superhero fucking film. Good. It's a good film, actually. I haven't seen that one, obviously, because it's still sealed, but the first one I really liked, so. This one as well, I didn't know it was out on DVD. Um, I really have fallen behind on, like, films and all that lately, but um, this one I'm really looking forward to watching, and that is Man of Steel. Um, I have heard it's not all that good, but um, I'm going to I'm gonna reserve judgment on that. I don't really like listening to critics' reviews, because generally that's their interpretation of a movie, and they might not really enjoy that kind of a franchise, but... For me, I, I really like the Superman films. I really like Superman Returns. Um, I was disappointed when they decided to reboot it again. Which is typical with uh, all superhero movies now. They just seem to do a film, then reboot it um, straight away. Which is a shame. You should let the series go a little bit and see where it's going to go. But this has been rebooted again from Superman Returns. So hopefully this one will stick and hopefully it's a good film. Um, but yeah, so that is Man of Steel. So I'm looking forward to that. And this film... Um, I'm a massive fan of these two uh, comics and I was really looking forward to um, seeing what this film was going to be like because I enjoyed the previous movies and um, that might give you a little bit of a hint of what it's going to be. But um, it's not been out all that long and um, I've heard just absolutely fantastic reviews about this film and I'm actually going to watch it tonight. So um, that is The World's End uh, with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. I'm really looking forward to seeing this film. I mean, everything they do really is my kind of humour. So... I am really looking forward to watching this film and I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be fantastic. Um, so yeah, but I got a couple of box sets as well. One I never knew was out yet and I was kind of hoping it would be before Christmas because I'm a big fan of this franchise. Um, and, well, franchise series. And unfortunately this is the final season. Um, so that might give you a little hint if you've been watching my videos regularly because I did do a... Um, I put it in one of my pickups videos a while ago, season 7. This is season 8, and it is the final season, which I'm gutted about. But I'm halfway through it already, and I have to say it's a little bit mixed uh, sort of reviews on it. But it is Dexter, the final season. Um, yep, yeah, it's a wrap. So yeah, so um, this is the final uh, Dexter season, which I'm gutted about, because I really love this series. I think it's a fantastic... Um, well, the series in general, I absolutely love it. Um, the first couple of seasons are really, really gripping. I mean, the first season's not great. But once you get into second, third and fourth season, it really starts to grab you. And then sort of after that, it starts to tail off into sort of different kind of storylines, different aspects of the characters and everything like that. Uh, but it's still really good. But going into this one, um, I didn't have any high hopes for it whatsoever. And I have been kind of disappointed, really, because it's just not as good. It's it's completely, completely different to the, the what the whole ethos of the series is about. Um, I mean, Dexter's a serial killer, but he doesn't really do much serial killing, and he doesn't really do much killing in this series, which is a bit odd. But um, I'm only seven seasons into it. There's still five se uh, episodes to go. Seven seasons. Seven episodes into this season. Still five episodes to go. So you never know. It might be a good ending. It's supposed to have a bit of a twist on the end. Um, if you've watched this, please, please, please do not let me know what happens, because I haven't seen the, all of it yet, but... Um, I'm looking forward to finishing it, and then, um, who knows, it might be one of the th those things that you watch through once, you don't really like, um, and then you decide to watch it through again, and then it starts to get you, because you start, you know, you miss little bits as you go along, so, yeah, you never know, it might be one of those, but, um, so far, it's not, ba it's not bad, I mean, if it was the first season of Dexter I'd watched, I'd be keen to watch the rest of them, to see what it's all about, um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend that you watch them all, so you kind, you kind of know where the storyline's going. But um, yeah, so moving on to the final uh, box set that I got, and I haven't watched any episodes in this um, this series, and it's finished as well, um, which I'm quite surprised I managed to miss because many people that I know have been talking about it, and um, 
They said that the first season is really poor, but the rest of them just absolutely grab you, and it's just absolutely fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to getting into it as soon as I finish Dexter, um, and that is Breaking Bad, and it's a complete series. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit of rip on the cellophane here, but aside from that, it's in absolutely fantastic condition. So it's brand new as well, so it's got over 50 hours of bonus features, so that's going to keep me busy for a fucking while. Um, probably like a, like a couple of weeks, I'll, you know, because I like to... to um, I don't generally go out. I can't be bothered with it, to be honest. So I generally just like watching them um, box sets and stuff. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what Breaking Bad's going to be all about. And it's a fucking huge thing. And it should be heavy. And it's got all seasons in there. So I am looking forward to seeing what that's going to be about. Hopefully it's going to be good. Um, like I say, I've heard lots of good reviews about it. Um, and yeah, it's got 62 episodes on 21 discs. So that's going to keep me busy for a while. But anyway, guys, that's that. Um, so yeah, so I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Um, I had a fantastic one, like I said. I got some really awesome gifts. Um, I am over the moon with everything that I got. I hope you guys are happy with everything you got. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping to do more videos soon. Um, we'll sort of see how it goes. Um, it might be a while before my next video. Like my next pickups video, we'll just see. Um, it might be a while before my next video, I don't know. Um, we're gonna have to see what happens with the channel, but um... I hope you guys are okay. Take it easy um, and enjoy the rest of your Christmas holidays, man. Go out, get drunk, meet people, have, I don't know, well, um, and just have a great time, you know what I mean? Just uh, enjoy yourself. New Year comes once a year. Um, so just go out and get blitz, man. Have a great time. I'm going to do the same. I'm actually going to get drunk this year. I actually got pissed Christmas Day, like really bad Christmas Day. Um, I was up all night and I had to go into work the next morning. Uh, boxing day, but I missed like three hours of work. I was absolutely blitzed out my skull. But um, so that was a struggle actually getting through work boxing day. That was a that was a fucking nightmare. But I don't matter. But you guys have a great time, and I will probably see you. Let me know. Do you guys want to see part five of my Game Boy collection? Because I've been doing my uh, videos, and this is why this video is going up now. Because I was going to wait until after my Game Boy videos to do this video, but. Do you guys want to see any more? Um, because I've really, I'm not getting any comments on the videos, really. Um, I'm hardly getting any views on them. <clears throat> and it just seems as if nobody's all that interested. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see a part 5 to my Game Boy Collections video. It'll be Game Boy Advance. Um, and then I was going to do that, Game Boy Advance, and I was going to show you all the boxes and manuals that I've got for Game Boy games, and that would be it, really. Um, but if you guys want to see that, let me know. That'd be cool. If you don't want to see it, that's fine. Again, let me know. That's all right. We don't have to do that. We can do something else. But um, yeah, take it easy, and um, I shall see you in the next um, video, which will hopefully be soon, fingers crossed. Happy New Year, guys, when it comes. <laughs>